Yo, what is up everybody, FCU here, back with another video, and today we are going to be doing a player review on Chris Smalling. Now, he was a very hyped player in FIFA 17, so we just decided to see what he was like in FIFA 18, and we decided to show all of you guys what he's like too. So, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's just get straight into this. So, to start off, we are going to be talking about the positives of Chris Smalling's card. So one thing that he is actually very good at is his stand tackle. Um, as you saw there, he made a pretty good tackle, uh, kind of reaching around the player. Here's another one. He came up clutch, blocking the shot, um, and basically stopped a goal there. Uh, you can see there he's blocking the shot again. This is one of the few things that I actually found Chris Moyne to be good at. There we see him taking the ball off of the forward. Um, here we can see him taking the ball straight from him again. It's one of the things that I found to be good in his card. Um, another thing that I found to be good was interceptions off of opponent's passes. So basically when they were passing it, Smalling was there quite a few times to uh, intercept the pass and uh, that was another thing that I found pretty decent in his card. Now, the last thing that I found pretty positive about him was his passing. Um, I thought it was decent, but it was nothing noteworthy, nothing to um, buy the card over. But um, let's get into the negatives now. Uh, we're going to be talking about his agility first. So, as you can see, he's kind of slow to uh, change direction. Uh, look, here he goes left, and it takes him a while to get back and go right and jog backwards basically. Um, we can also see this in other examples like right here he first gets out strengthed and then he's pretty slow to get back and we concede because of it. Now next we're going to be getting into his positioning and marking. As you can see there he kinda got caught behind the ball and the other center back had to cover for him. His positioning and marking I found to be his greatest downfall, so as you can see there, he was forced to the right so far, and that, we just got lucky that he didn't score there, but then he scored there, and Smalling couldn't block the shot either, so just overall very bad defending from Smalling. Um, as you can see, he's in there in the box, and he's nowhere near that player. He could have taken a touch and scored that easily, but that marking from Smalling was just atrocious, and here again, his marking is just subpar. Um, that's one of the things in the card that I found to be uh, detrimental to his uh, card. And as you can see here, again, it gets caught in behind and they actually score it this time. So, yeah. The last thing I will be talking about is his heading. Um, I found him to lose quite a few headers uh, and this one actually resulted in a goal, which uh, kind of pissed me off a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, he, he's not very good in the air despite his stats. Here we do see him winning a header though. Um, I'm not sure how he did. He usually doesn't win any headers, but that's just one I wanted to put in there. And yeah. So given that Smalling does have a few good attributes like his stand tackle, his interceptions, and his decent passing, I gave him a 5 out of 10, but he did have some pretty huge downfalls. His positioning and marking was horrible, his agility was very bad, and his heading was pretty bad too. So I decided to give him a 5 out of 10 for those reasons. Um, he is pretty cheap though, he's only like 7k at the moment, uh, so I did give him a 6.5 out of 10 for his rating for cost. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will upload more of these player reviews.